welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today I have got 20 pretty cheap items that you should be stocking up on right now if you don't already have. prices rise over the last year and they are going to continue to rise and these items are still pretty cheap I've got 20 items here that I think are still pretty inexpensive and great to stock up on you are gonna want these items in the long run I'm telling you you're gonna want them so the first thing is soap you are going to want soap something to wash your clothes with even bar soap can be shaved down for um, laundry you're going to want different kinds of soap so you hygiene is a big deal in a long-term situation if everything collapses you are going to want to have a good supply of soap if you can make soap that's awesome getting hold of some of the oils might be a problem in the future because there are all these shortages and things like that so having a good supply of soap right now is going to be really important so you can make soap later but having the soap now for if you cannot get the oils and you're going to want oils to cook with so you're not going to want to use them all up on making soap the next thing number two is feminine hygiene products a lot of people do not talk about these but they are important whether you go the disposable route or you want to make you know reusable pads and things like that and you want to think about not just yourself or your wife if you have younger daughters in the next couple of years they can come up on this age and start their moon cycle and you want to be prepared for that so having extra more than you think you're going to need you may have someone a niece or a friend's daughter or something that needs them that is not really as prepared as you are and you might be able to help them out in that situation they can be used for other things besides just um, feminine hygiene the maxi pads can also be used as a wound covering a bandage something like that if you get a really big gash you could use it for that there are lots of uses. number three is dental hygiene you want to make sure that you have plenty of toothpaste toothbrushes floss anything like that we keep repair kits you can chip or crack a tooth if you are not able to get to the dentist you can repair it temporarily until you can figure out how to get it fixed or what you're going to do about it so having those things on hand are really important and all of those can be found at the Dollar Tree super duper cheap and sometimes you can get them cheaper other places just keep in the back of your mind when you see them if you're looking to pick them up Dollar Tree is a dollar twenty-five if you can't get them cheaper somewhere else hit the Dollar Tree number four baby wipes hand wipes things like that in a long-term situation you are going to want to conserve your water if you have hand wipes those are handy when you're on the go hand wipes are handy we always keep baby wipes in the car that's one of the things we always keep because it's super quick and easy we don't have to waste water we can wash up really quick and you know if water is a problem and you don't have a lot of it they really do come in super handy number five coffee filters not just for your coffee coffee filters can be used for all sorts of stuff we use it as a pre-filter we filter out um, when I make cranberry juice or grape juice if I want to get those out of there I will put a coffee filter in one of those coffee strainers and pour my juice through it and it collects all the berries for me lets all the juice come through and I can give the berries to the chickens I could you know turn them into muffins or whatever but coffee filters can be used tons of different ways we also when I stack my cast iron you don't want them stacked touching each other I put coffee filters in between each cast iron pan to help keep them away from each other so they don't cause any rust or anything like that number six aluminum foil aluminum foil is so handy to have you can make a Sun oven out of a box you can just wrap the inside of a box with a clear top on it and you can cook in that it will boil water if you have a really hot sunny day um, it's not always the 
most efficient option but you can cook in a sun oven and if you have especially in a warmer climate most of the year you would be able to do that with the sun so and covering things up you can reuse aluminum foil we like to buy the really heavy duty stuff for cooking on the campfire because i have found the really thin stuff especially on a campfire it melts it just it's not thick enough it does not last on there but if you put use the heavy duty stuff we keep a lot of that for outdoor cooking number seven sewing supplies as the economy gets tougher and tougher we are going to have to repair our clothing things that we have pillowcases sheets we may have to make our own curtains at some point i mean anything like that if you've got to repair something you want to make sure you have a good supply of sewing supplies and sewing does not have to be difficult you don't have to be a master at it if you just do quick simple projects you can get the gist of it down and enough so you can repair things um, a rip sleeve a hole anything like that stitching it up will help you so you have keep your clothes longer it's going to save you money and just thread needles scissors things like that um, buttons i like to save buttons off old shirts uh, when they rip or they you know the collar is completely destroyed because you've worn it so much i mean we wear our clothes until they are dead and they cannot be worn anymore even t-shirts we say for old rags and things like that they work really good 100 percent cotton t-shirts so we save all of that stuff um and you know flannel pajamas work excellent if you have to make your own like toilet paper so clothing anything like that if it's ripped and torn and you can't wear it or repair it anymore it can have another use there are definitely more uses for that sewing supplies are a big one number eight lip balm lip balm is excellent for chapped lips it is also excellent to protect your skin if you have really dry hands you can put it on really dry spots elbows knees ankles your hands you can use it in a whole bunch of different ways most lip balms are really easy to make I have made tons of lip balm in my life and it's just a few ingredients an oil uh, you know one oil a little bit of beeswax and you know a flavoring you could even just three little things or no flavoring even you could go that route um, let's see number nine paper pens things like that pencils you're going to want to have something that you can write things down journaling can t sometimes be very therapeutic if you are in a stressful situation writing things down so you can remember them is really important <laughs> i am a list junkie so i need a list or things do not get done because i have too many things going on and i can't remember everything so if it's not written down, a lot of times it doesn't exist in my world. <laughs> All right, let's see. Number 10, books, how-tos, DIYs, cookbooks, canning books, foraging books, anything that can help you. Um, if you do not have access to the internet, you are going to want hard books to have in your library. So... Uh, medical books are a big one how to do different medical things uh, how to brace up you know a broken bone things like that you want to look into that uh, books can definitely be worth their weight in gold the information is so important if we don't have access to the internet we're gonna need books number 11 baking soda baking soda can be used for so many things you can clean your teeth you can clean your oven you can unclog the drain there are just so many uses for baking soda i think it is something that we really really need you can cook with it too um but it has so many uses and it's still pretty inexpensive um number 12 paper products like your paper plates paper bowls cups 
toilet paper, those things are still pretty inexpensive. Toilet paper is kind of pricey in my opinion now. Um, it is more than doubled in my area since a year and a half ago. So <laughs> it's toilet paper is definitely something you're going to want. And paper products are wonderful. So when you're conserving water, you don't have to wash those dishes. You can save them in a you know container or a bag or something and when you need to light a fire you have a fire starter we like to buy the uncoated stuff because we can just burn it and there's no problems even the wax coated ones are okay and they burn really well i don't really store too much styrofoam because then you've got to figure out how to dispose of it you could burn it but you know it's not really that good okay Number 10, number 13, good quality cookware. You should have really good quality cookware. Something that can go from the oven to the burner to a outside cooking on the barbecue, cooking on a campfire, uh, cast iron. I definitely recommend cast iron, but other pots are great too. We have some great camp pots that are, um, um, enamel coated and those work really great on the campfire as well I love those camp pots and they're pretty inexpensive but they last so that is something that you want to look into you cannot take your Teflon or whatever that non-stick stuff is that they put on pans you can't put that on the fire it cannot handle that kind of heat um, you want something that is solid so like plastic handles are not going to go in the oven they're not going to go on the campfire you want really good quality cookware so it will last you and you don't have to replace it later and you don't have to worry about that that can be a little bit pricey but the camp enamelware is still fairly inexpensive and we buy a lot of our cast iron at yard sales thrift stores things like that so it saves us money a little bit of rust is easy to clean out so cast iron definitely buying it you know brand new can be pricey depending on what you're looking for but if you check those thrift stores church sales anything like that you can really find some great stuff I've got all kinds of great cast iron I've been given some from family members my parents gave me a bunch of pans but like Dutch ovens things like that I bought them all second hand um, let's see number 14 flashlights batteries lanterns headlamps anything like that you want the batteries to keep them going you need lighting anything to make sure you have light I love headlamps because your hands free flashlights are wonderful the little battery lanterns I've seen them recently at the dollar store again for a dollar 25 their little LED lanterns they work wonderfully especially you know you can set them down on the counter and work in the kitchen or you can read or write near them they work great and they're great for the kids little LED lights are great for the kids to carry around the house if they need to go to the bathroom anything like that you don't have to worry about catching fire number 15 trash bags trash bags are super important you want to have a good supply of trash bags we also keep contractor bags because there are so many uses they're a lot thicker they're a lot bigger and they have tons and tons of uses contractor bags are a bit more but having plenty of trash bags around can definitely be a great thing to carry things to collect things to you know all sorts of stuff and put your trash in you don't want to leave your trash laying around outside in a big emergency a long-term situation people will go through your trash so to see what you have and if you've got big number 10 cans in there and you've got things that they think are worth coming in for they will so you really want to be careful with trash in that kind of situation but trash bags are a must 16 duct tape millions of uses you can use it for so many things um, you definitely want to have I think duct tape is great you can fix holes in like raincoats uh, in tents tarps all kinds of stuff you can tape glass you can do tons of things with it duct tape is a big one um, a lot of people do repairs with it 
Number 17, zip ties. Zip ties are another thing. We keep lots of them around. We have chickens, we have had goats and sheep and alpacas and you name it, rabbits, the gamut. If a fence breaks, you wanna be able to fix it quickly um, until you can get and do a really good repair on it. Uh, zip ties are wonderful for that. I've had goats break out of their fencing before. I definitely, if you have goats, I definitely <laughs> recommend cattle panel because it's tough and they can't break through it, which is nice. Um, number 18, rope. You want to have plenty of rope. You might need a clothesline. You might need to hang a tarp, bundle things, tie things down, move things, drag things, anything. You might need to tie someone up good to have plenty of rope and you know lots and lots of it and it's still pretty inexpensive you can get paracord at Walmart uh, the Dollar Tree check your discount stores a lot of times you can get bigger rope for really inexpensive we have Martins here in Maine and they have really great deals on rope number 19 candles candles are great you can cook with them you want a different variety of candles tea lights are great you can heat stuff up with them and you know if you use three or four of them you could bring water to a boil um, boil soup anything like that they don't last a super long time but they will heat stuff up and your even birthday candles if you stick them in some fats and oils and things like that you are going to be able to stretch that out the Dollar Tree emergency candles are wonderful in a like a 28 ounce can they're just about the right size fill it up with you know coconut oil or Crisco or whatever you have you know a hard oil and just plop your candle down inside um, it's nice and safe and it extends that candle so instead of it burning for an hour or two it is going to last days so definitely candles all kinds of them. and number 20 seeds seeds are still really cheap and they are a lifesaver I think everybody should have tons of seeds um, you can grow food with them they will last throw them in the freezer you know seal them up in a jar uh, vacuum seal them in a bag throw them in the freezer they're gonna last for years in your freezer even if you don't use them right away we keep a lot of extra seeds around just because you know they're great for trading they're great to have they're great for all sorts of stuff um, if you got to grow food you got to grow food and learning to collect seeds is important add them in with the ones that you have already also as a bonus I think in an emergency situation a lot of times you are going to be doing a lot more work so having nice fresh socks lots of socks socks are so important walking around trying to work with shoes and when your socks are you know you have no socks is no good you've got to have good socks so even the Dollar Tree you can get a pair or two for a dollar and they're for a dollar 25 so we always are adding socks to our pile and we keep you know all different kinds of socks so men's socks women's socks tall socks short socks winter socks summer socks just all kinds of socks I think they are so important um, having a nice fresh clean pair of socks to get out there and for a good day's work is really going to help your feet you don't want to have blisters you've got enough going on in an emergency I think it is so important to make sure that you have enough stuff not everything is food the well, food is important and should be your first preps they definitely should be your first but on top of that you definitely want to have some other things when you can afford them grab those extra things make sure you've got matches lighters socks this you know candles all those things are so important and making sure you have them can be a lifesaver especially in a long-term situation and that's it for today if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe I'll see you in the next video bye